The second tonic reflex is the symmetrical tonic neck reflex. To test this reflex, just put uh, the infant on your lap in quadruped position, like so, and apply flexion and extension of his head. Okay? If you'd like to apply extension, just push from his forehead upward. The response will be symmetrical, symmetrical of both sides, both right and left. So, the upper limb will be, when you extend his head, the upper limb will be extended and the lower limb will be flexed. Okay? If you'd like to test the flexion of his neck, the, by applying, pushing the occiput downward like so, so his neck will be flexed and this will be followed by flexion of his upper limbs and extension of his lower limbs. Okay? Uh, do not uh, forget this response. I usually told my student that when you want to drink from, to drink soup, like you flex your head and drink the soup, and after so, you raise your head upward to thank God and extend your upper limbs like so. Okay? This reflex is controlled at the age of four up to six months, and the resistance of this reflex may interfere with uh, some motor functions like crawling. The infant, to be able to crawl, he has to come to the quadruped position first. Okay? And imagine an infant in a quadruped position and start to crawl. If he just flex his head downward, this will be followed by flexion of his arms and the collapse of the quadruped position and he can't crawl. The symmetrical tonic neck reflex, it's important that it encourage or it's a um, precursor for the infant to raise on his elbow like so. So just when he extend his head in this position, this will be followed by extension of his, of his arms in this position and this is a precursor uh, for uh, raising on elbow.